Okay, so if we can uh, go ahead to the next one there, you'll see the same uh, image that Justin was just talking about. And we are looking uh, to the north, and so that's the rim of Gale Crater, and that's the part of the rim of the crater which is lowest in elevation facing the, uh, the northern lowlands of Mars. So it's been very deeply dissected, and the thing that really struck the science team about this image that you, you would really be forgiven for thinking that NASA was trying to pull a fast one on you, and we actually put a rover out in the Mojave Desert and took a picture, a little L.A. smog coming in there. And um, so the, the, thing, the thing that's amazing about this is, it, to a certain extent, the first impression that you get is how Earth-like this seems, looking at that, at that landscape. And, and maybe one of the reasons behind it is that you're also looking in the same direction that this alluvial fan is coming from. So all the sedimentary materials, all the, the part, not necessarily the things you're looking at, that's all TBD, but uh, more, more distally what we can really confirm in, in terms of looking at the high-rise images is that all those materials are derived from erosion of those, those mountains there. That's the, that's the source region for this material. So it's, it's really kind of fantastic to look out across there and, and see something that has really attracted uh, uh, people to particular parts of Mars for your wondering, years, wondering what would it look like if you landed on a, on a landscape where there was an alluvial fan that, that was created by water. So th there you're looking into towards the watershed uh, that delivered those materials. So in the middle ground, uh, you can see some dark-looking ridgy features. Those are scarps probably a meter, two meters, uh, three meters in, in height. We have no idea what, what those really are. They're related to the, the bedrock that we ex ex see exposed. It's, you're looking in, 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 uh, toward the, the high thermal inertia uh, area over there. And then in the immediate foreground, you, you see this, uh, this little low that uh, Justin mentioned. So uh, at a very low slope, uh, a degree or two, away from the rover into that depression there, uh, uh, we don't yet know geomorphologically uh, what that means, but there's some kind of a low there. And then right in the foreground uh, is something that's particularly interesting. Justin mentioned these are the thruster uh, impingement uh, excavation uh, areas. And what's cool about this is that we got some free trenching. On, on MER, we often discussed, you know, we, how we would take the wheel and scuff and dig, and, and we did. And, uh, you know, people like Rob Sullivan put a lot of effort into that, and we'll do that with this, with this rover, Curiosity. But here we get a freebie right off the bat. So if we zoom in, what's really cool about this, uh, we're going to zoom into the mark on the side. And we estimate right now, as just chatting with Justin about, we're, we're going to guess that this is approximately a half a meter uh, in, in width there. What you see beneath the soil is bedrock. And for those of you that may remember the Phoenix landing, you excavated, and what were, what were you looking for with Phoenix? You're looking for ice. And so what, what we're really looking for here is a diversity of materials, and so we see our first glimpse of bedrock. And, and so apparently there is a harder, rockier material beneath this veneer of, of gravel and pebbles, and you know, obviously there's some impact ejecta in there as well. And so we, we're already getting a glimpse into the subsurface here. So, for example, when we turn the Dan instrument on for its checkout, an intermission will drive along, and we'll want to know what's in the subsurface. And, and here we've already got an exploration hole drilled for us. So when we interpret that data, we actually have some understanding of the depth of bedrock uh, for, for understa you know, understanding what the subsurface is that we've never done before with a rover mission.